Hi. Well, it's always nice to start or end a year with a bit of good news, right? Well, about nine months ago, I released this video, which went into details about a problem that Steinberg itself reported about a certain incompatibility between Cubase and the latest generation of hybrid architecture Intel processors. Well, they basically said we can't advise running Cubase on these processors at the moment. Quite a thing, right? Well, this problem now seems to have been solved. Or has it? Let's go. So in that earlier video, I showed the technical note of Steinberg that went into more detail about the compatibility problem between Cubase and Intel processors of the 12th generation or newer. So let's summarize. So basically they mentioned that running Cubase Nuendo on systems with hybrid architecture CPUs, utilizing performance and efficiency cores, the so-called P cores and E cores, such as the 12th generation Intel core Alder Lake or newer, can lead to audio dropouts and reduced performance. Now basically this article also provides some workarounds and I'll link the original article in the description again so you can check it out in case you're still experiencing this problem. But this was quite a thing, especially if you were just on the verge of buying a new system for example. Going with a new Intel processor was quite a risk, so you either had to go with an older processor or maybe with a different type of processor like an AMD for example. So quite a difficult choice. And furthermore, it seemed to be quite an elusive problem looking at the comments on that video. You see that a lot of people commented on this. And some were experiencing the problem, others weren't. For example, this user here bought a 13th generation processor and he actually used one of the published workarounds to get his system working smoothly, where it wasn't working smoothly before. And on the other hand, you have users like this who just built himself a new door PC, also a 13th generation Intel processor, and he's getting great performance with Dom Cicales' Cubase stress test. So it did not seem to be a problem for him at all. I also ran a poll on my YouTube channel in the community forum, and there's not too many votes, but overall 90% of people are running basically a different processor. 5% are running one of the affected processors and having no problems. And another 5% ran into the problem, but found the solution. Fortunately, 0% were confronted with an unsolvable issue at the time, at least in my poll over here. So now for the good news, if we look at the Cubase 13 release notes, this is what is stated about hybrid CPU support. We have invested a lot of time and effort in optimizing and testing Cubase 13 for hybrid architecture CPUs, and we are happy to offer full support for both Windows and Mac, which I interpret as Steinberg saying it has been solved in Cubase 13. The technical article on the Steinberg website that mentioned the problem has also been updated because it now says update recent tests indicated that the situation has improved significantly and feedback from the user base supports the results. While we are still working on optimized versions of Cubase and Nuendo, the behavior running on the latest Cubase Nuendo 12 and Windows 11 builds is mostly as expected. Cubase 13 supports hybrid CPU systems officially without any limitations. So even in Cubase 12, at least on Windows 11, the problems seem to be mostly gone. So all of that is really great news if you recently purchased a new DAW with one of those processors or were waiting to buy one. It now seems without risk, at least related to this problem, when you're running Cubase 13 and even Cubase 12 on Windows 11 seems to run fine. So this is a bit of a shorter video this time, but I really wanted to mention this news. Also because I made the other video, of course, where I highlighted the problem and a lot of people have commented. So if you're seeing this, it seems safe again now. A nice way to end this year. Now, I myself, I'm not running one of these newer processes, so I never experienced the problem. So I also cannot verify personally whether it was actually solved or whether anything changed. But if any of you have experienced this problem and something changed with the latest Cubase version 13, or maybe even with Cubase 12, please let us know in the comments so that we can all learn from this and get some more verification about the fact that this problem was actually solved. If you are still experiencing this problem, please also leave a comment with your system details so we can all learn from this. Anyway, happy new year already to everybody. And if you want to check out my original video, you can do so over here. Enjoy that and see you soon.